Here we're just applying stable bandages um, after fast exercise. Um, really we need to keep the circulation um, good in the legs to try and reduce swelling. Um, and if we are able to, then sometimes turning the horse out can be the best way of doing that. But if the horse is going to be stabled, or um, if we have um, any knocks or bumps or swellings on the leg, then bandaging can help improve the circulation and to, um, to get that um, better overnight. Um, it can be useful um, to sort of uh, bandage the horse sort of overnight, but if there is any persistent heat or swelling, then it really is a good idea to get the horse checked out by a vet um, because um, heat that persists or swelling that persists really could be a sign of an injury underlying. So it's important to bandage um, uh, sort of both legs. In fact, if you've been cross country, then it's probably going to be a good idea to bandage all four of them. Um, and I would always say, don't bandage directly onto the skin, and always make sure we've got padding underneath the bandage, which you can see above and below the bandage as well. So the day after the competition, it's important to check your horse out completely, um, just to see if there's any knocks, bumps, scrapes, swellings, or heat anywhere that you may have missed the day before, or may have developed overnight when the horse has gone into a stable and rested for the evening. Also, just have a look at your horse's general condition. You know, has he eaten up overnight? Is he passing droppings as he normally would? Is he drinking as he normally would? Um, and any signs of um, a, a sort of, you know, other illness or injury which might have been brought on by the competition the day before. But the day after the competition, you might want to give your horse a day off. Um, particularly um, if you are able to turn them out, then that's a really good idea to let them stretch, uh, to let them get the circulation in the legs um, going and to, to let them sort of, you know, let their muscles relax. If they're not able to be turned out, then it might be more useful to take them for a walk in hand instead, just so that they're not standing still and getting stiff. Um, how much time to give them off after, an ex after exercise really depends on the horse, uh, the management situation that you've got and whether turnout is available, and also the sort of level of competition that you're, you're, that you're at. And obviously the more strenuous the competition, um, you may need to give a few more days um, off afterwards. And also um, if whether the horse is, is fit and well afterwards, and if you've got any problems or, um, or injuries that you may need to look at, then you know, obviously more extended rest might be necessary.